In this Allerton Associates Technology Training Tip of the Month, we'll be looking at using custom views in Excel. Okay, I have Excel up, and I'm using Excel 2010, but what I'm about to do will work in any version of Excel. I have a workbook called Orders, which contains two worksheets, one showing orders for our hardware products, actually a summary of yearly orders per quarter and then the total, and then a Sporting Goods tab, which just shows individual orders by date for our sporting goods. Now, the way that these are set up right now is looking at the hardware tab, if I go to File and Print, and I ask to see a print preview, you'll see that I have a landscape orientation, I've got things fitting on one page wide, I have a header, which is the name of the worksheet hardware, a page number, and this is a two-page print. So that's looking pretty good, that's all the, the sales summarized for hardware. Let me just come back out and switch to the Sporting Goods tab and also show you that if I go to File and Print, same story, this time we've got a portrait-oriented page because things fit that way across. Have the name of the worksheet at the top in the header, page number in the footer. This one is a three-page print. So things are looking good right now. Now, the idea of custom views is that I may want to view these different worksheets in different ways and even have different print settings because of that, different headers and footers, maybe sometimes hide certain columns or rows, apply a filter which hides rows based on criteria, and all of those things are a lot of clicks. So for example, I often want to see this hardware summary list filtered for the top 10 total items and also sorted by that and possibly even hiding, say, everything from number through quarter four. So I'm only seeing region, the salesperson name, and the total. And then I want to apply an appropriate header to that, such as top 10 summary view, and then print that and view it on the screen. Well, what I've just described is a whole lot of clicks. And then I need to come back to this because sometimes I want to print everything. And then maybe I also want the top 10 print, but showing all the details. So that's three different ways of viewing this with potentially three different sets of print settings, three different relevant headers, and those are all, again, going to take a bunch of clicks to do. The idea of a custom view is saving all that so that each time I want to view, say, the top 10 summary view, I just pick the view and boom, there it is. So that's what we're going to do. Now, I've been describing this for the hardware worksheet, same story for sporting goods. So sporting goods, I may want to see, again, the top 10 sales or various different filters, possibly with certain columns hidden and with certain print settings, such as a relevant header for each of these different arrangements of things on the screen. So I'm going to save as a total five different views for you here so you can see the benefit of this. I'm going to go to the hardware sheet first. Now, before I change everything or anything, I might want to save this view. You know, what I've got set up right now that I showed you in print preview is something I definitely want to have available and I don't want to have to go back and manually set this up again. So right away, I'm going to go up to view. I'm going to click the custom views button. Notice I have no custom views and I'm going to add a custom view. Now, it's recommended for the name that you use the worksheet name and then the name of the view because the views are specific to each worksheet. If you think about it, these two worksheets are very different. So the views I would create for hardware are not applicable to sporting goods and vice versa. And so the views are worksheet specific. So I'm going to go ahead and name this one Hardware Default. We'll call this the default view and print of the hardware. Notice it says this view is going to save print settings, hidden row column, and filter settings. So I click OK and now I can easily get back to this. So now I'm going to change it up for my first top 10 view which will be the top 10 details view. So I'm going to go to view and change to page layout view just because it makes it easier to see and change the header. And then I'm going to go up to data, apply filter arrows, and based on the total, I'm going to come to total and do a number filter and a top 10. So now I'm seeing my top 10 sales. I'm also going to go to total and sort largest to smallest. And I'm going to change the header. So it's got the tab name. I'm just going to type a space and type in top 10 details. And then I'll just click back in here and you can see it says hardware top 10 details. So this is it. This is the way I want this particular view to look. I'm going to go up to View, Custom Views, again, Add, and I'll name this one Hardware Top 10 
details. Okay. Now I mentioned that I also want one that's the top 10, but a summary view. So I'm going to start right with what I have here, but I'm going to take and drag columns D through K and then right click and hide those. And then I'll just click back on A1 here. And I'm going to change the header from details to summary. Okay. So I'm going to save this as a view. Again, view, custom views, add, and I'm going to call this one hardware top 10 summary. Okay. Now, again, just to show that this is worksheet specific, I'm going to go ahead and do just two views for sporting goods. So again, I want to capture this. I want to be able to get to this regular normal view the way I showed you in print preview. So before I do anything, I'll go to view and custom views. I will add, and this one I'm going to call sporting goods because it's for that worksheet, default. Okay. And then the only other thing I really want to do with this one is display top 10 by sales and put appropriate header on there. So now I'll change it up by going to view, page layout. Again, it's not necessary to switch to page layout view. I'm just doing that because it makes it easy for you to change and view the header that's applied. So you can see the worksheet name. First, let me go ahead and put that filter on there. I'll go back up to data filter. This time on sales, I'm going to do a number filter of top 10. And again, I'm going to sort that largest to smallest. And I'm going to change the heading sporting goods top 10. And then I'm going to go ahead and click. So now I will go to view and custom views and add this final view sporting goods top 10. All right. So you saw all the manual clicks I had to do to make each of these changes. Not anymore. So now let's say even from here, even from sporting goods, I decide I want to see the default view for the hardware worksheet. So I'm now going to go up to view custom views, click on hardware default and show. See right there, it switches me back. I'm back in normal view. If I go to file and print and show the print preview, no, we're right back where we started. But now let's say it's time to do that summary top 10 print of hardware. So I'll come up to View, Custom Views, Top 10 Summary, boom, just like that. Switched the view, put on the header, did the filter, did the hidden columns. Let's say we want to do the detailed view of this. Go back up to Custom Views, Hardware, Top 10 Details, we'll show that one. Just like that, note the header change, note the unhidden columns now. And then finally, if we're done with these Top 10 Views and Prints, I can go right back to the default and show that. And then same thing with sporting goods. Let's say it's time to do a sporting goods default print. I'll go to custom view, sporting goods default. And again, like it was when I showed you in the beginning, if I go to file and print, there's the header. But now I'm going to go to view. It's time to do a top 10 view. And I just click sporting goods top 10. And there it is, page layout view, correct header and filtered. And I'm just going to go ahead and go back to the default view of sporting goods. So those were pretty simplistic examples. Actually, I could have done a lot more with the different print settings like landscape versus portrait orientation. Margins are a part of that. I could have had a different view for a whole bunch of different filters, uh, not just top 10 on sales. And just think about every time you do that, on the same worksheet, you're wanting these different views of it with potentially different headers, footers, and print settings, and possibly different hidden columns versus displayed columns, how much easier it's going to be for you going forward to save each of those as a custom view, and then just go up and display the custom view instead of doing all the individual work to change those settings. To learn more about our classes, please visit us at www.ellerttraining.com.